What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's Ube or Ubante Garage, whatever we are going to be doing. The duck bill. I want to do four bolts onto it and they're going to be riv nuts. And I think that'll be secure enough on the bottom side of this guy. But this is the duck bill we're putting on. Looks super good. And now I really want to throw this on. I'm debating on putting the emblems back on it, but we'll see. That'd be kind of cool. Kind of haven't seen it yet. So I guess we'll just get to that point, mock some of it up. If we can remove these without damaging them. And yeah, we'll go from there. So let's start with the debadge, debadging. I don't know why I said it like that, whatever. And get this thing on. Let's get it. Subscribe if you guys haven't yet. Got a lot of Miata content coming. Soon I'm gonna be taking this out to the track. Should be good fun. It's just about ready. And I'm really digging this car. Let's get it. All right, so for the D-Badge, I don't have any really thin string, so I'm gonna be using my yo-yo string. We'll bust a trick real quick before we damage the string and it's not yo-yoable anymore, but I need to find my tripod first. The hell? Oh, it's right there. Trash. That's good enough. All right, cool. That took way too long. So we're gonna sacrifice this string. All we're gonna do, try to jimmy it back here. There we go. There we go. Nice. Oh, Lona! My lion dog! <laughs> I mean, her tail's wagging, so she's excited for whatever reason. Oh, baby. Alright, alright. Come here. Come here, Luna. I'll take it off. Whoa. Oh, yeah. That's two. That's three. Dope. Am I going to remove all this residue? I mean, I should. Doesn't sound too fun right now. It's not gonna be visible. So, testing time. Wow, that is actually ridiculously good fitment. It's even pretty good on the bottom side. I'm gonna put rib nuts, maybe five, but I need to check the actual trunk and see what it looks like underneath here to see if we can get to them. We might have the drill hole. Wow, so there's 100% no opening down here. Cut double-sided tape it. I'm gonna grab some blue tape so we don't scratch this trunk up more than it already is. Just a little low on blue tape, but whatever. Seems good enough for me. All right, so. Go mark this out. So when you get to the point of mounting the spoiler, you want to be very precise with your measurements. Measure many times and drill once. My technique here is to measure out the holes and then transferring that onto the duck bill. And then in the next scene, you'll see me mounting the rib nuts into the spoiler. If you're not tracking these cars, I highly recommend you just double-sided tape it to your trunk with 3M Ultra Strong double-sided tape. It's a lot easier and it'll save you a lot of time. You can also just skip to the end of this video to see the right. final result. So I got my holes. Now I'm gonna go drill some holes, throw on some rib nuts. Wish me luck. All right, fingers crossed that this works well. Cause if it doesn't work well, I'm gonna have a bunch of holes in this thing. So here we are starting with a small drill bit. I believe it's a 1 8 and we are drilling the initial hole and we are going to keep enlarging it until we get to about 1 quarter inch so we can fit the 6 millimeter rib nut into that hole. You can find rib nuts on eBay or at a local hardware store. They're really useful and I use them all the time. Now we need some toothpaste. Got it. This had good good. After you have the spoiler completed, the way that I got it marked up onto the trunk was I added some toothpaste as a marker in the hole of each rib nut. After that, I carefully put it onto the trunk lid and used those white dots as a reference point for where the drill goes. Be sure to do some final measurements before drilling the initial holes. You do not want to do this more than once. 
Be sure to start with an automatic center punch so your drill doesn't move when using a small drill bit. I drilled through the top layer of the trunk, then straight down to the second layer into the trunk. From there, we will be using a hole saw bit on the trunk lid to make the mounting holes. If all your measurements are correct, you should see your rivnet holes through the trunk and you just need to run 6mm bolts through and secure it to the trunk. Alright guys, it's a new day. I didn't even record me wrapping the duck bill at all because it was insanely hard. But we got it done. Wrap job came out pretty good. We had to do three pieces, one on each side. And I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Like, first time ever doing something like that. So, look a little janky, but that was the first one I did. And then the second one came out a little bit better. Still jank though. Mm. Bottom looks really good. You won't see any white. So, I'm hyped, dude. Let's go throw this thing on. Before securing your spoiler, I recommend you apply some primer to your drill holes where the raw metal is exposed. I also added a gasket between it, using only one side of 1 inch wide 3M ultra strong double sided tape and cutting a circle in the middle and then applying it around each mounting hole. And it looks like that. We got them all in, it's nice and solid. Yeah, no complaints there, I don't think that's coming out. Gotta look at it outside. That's pretty nasty, dude. Wrap looks really good. Take it, that was a really rough wrap, man. Not, not too heavy with this, but I mean, for the first time trying to do something this curvy, I'll take it. Let's go see what looking out the back's like when you're actually in the car. Oh yeah, not as bad as I thought it would be. So, we'll take that. Only gets rid of about two inches, so no worse than it was. It is what it is. And then with the top down, no big deal. Let's check it out. Yo. Yeah, that looks pretty sick. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'm still tired, so I'm gonna go back to sleep. Just really want to knock this wrap out. It was intense and I, I'm pretty happy with it, so. Other than getting it bolted down, having trouble, relatively good turnout. So as long as it turns out good, can't really complain. And that's it. If you guys like today's video, hit that like button, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. All right. Peace.